who knows what the Mona Lisa is worth, right? It's just too difficult to measure. It can't be measured. Maybe it could. I mean, you can have a world, you can conduct a worldwide auction and see what happens, but until such time, you don't even know. A year later, it might not go for that much. Is it anything to do with what the Mona Lisa itself did? No. And some of these changes in fair value have nothing to do with the actual performance of the company. A company can end up looking really good because the value of their buildings in some area, the real estate has doubled. Or their investments in some other company has doubled. But they themselves have lost money. But at the end of the day, they're going to look like they're, they're making money. They're a good investment when in fact they're not. Fair value counting is very dangerous, and I don't agree with it at all, in any sense, uh, in any respect. And it can be broken down that simply, you know. I could talk about all the, af all, all, all the academic nuances and considerations, and I, I, could, I, could, I could sound like a, a homeless, homeless babbler talking about some of the things I've seen in some of these articles t discussing some of the current issues out there. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, we're talking about principles that are, you know, understandable. <laughs> Either value can be measured or it can't. <coughs> the best way to measure value <coughs> is by looking back and knowing what you actually paid for. If you're, the price is right is fiction. You know, when, when when they call down the people, come on down, you're on the price is right. Okay, the next item up for bid is this or that, you know, can of Coke over here. How much does it cost? And one guy says 35 cents, another guy says 50 cents, and the other guy says a dollar. Then Bob Barker would announce the actual retail price is blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. Go down. <laughs> Go to three or four supermarkets and check the price of an item on the shelf, and you're, you're not going to find that they're all the same price. And that's not even measuring that. And then we then then we have to consider if we really want to do fair value, which I'm sure some wise ass will come up with someday. Uh, if we really want to measure fair value, well, it isn't really fair. I mean, the dollar goes up and down against the pound. Shouldn't this all be expressed in gold? Plus, that's more transferable. Um, you know, all these different crazy ideas, it gets down to the point where you try to perfect something too much and you don't leave uh, and you eliminate all the art and the judgment involved and you end up making the art absolutely unusable because rules never really apply to real life all the time you know, is is someone driving on a barren highway at 100 miles an hour a danger to anybody? Compared to someone going 40 miles an hour down Times Square? No, not at all. Yet, a person could be arrested for going 100 miles an hour down an abandoned highway. The other guy going 40 down New York Times Square might just get a ticket. Anyway, I'm done with my rant for the day.